Hi guys, welcome back. In this video, we'll be installing Anaconda Python, where we will be doing all our stuff from learning, practicing Python to building machine learning models. So first we will begin by downloading this module. So I have Windows operating system. If you have Mac OS, you can just click simply and download this version, Python 3.7 version. And if you are a Linux user, you also have a version for that. So mine is Windows, I'll download it. So this, uh, by the time it downloads, what is this Anaconda distribution? Basically, it's a complete package for data scientists. In day-to-day -day life, we use different packages that it holds, like Pandas, NumPy, to perform data handling manipulation, like Matplotlib for visualizing the data, scikit-learn for implementing machine learning algorithms and similarly different packages like that. So my Anaconda is downloaded now and you can just simply click on this to run. It's a executable file. Once it is installed, then I will resume back. You have to do nothing, just put next, agree where you want to install it, then install. So now our installation is complete. It might take five to 10 minutes for you. And let's open Jupyter Notebook and see how it works. So this is the terminal that will open for you. And if you click on this new, we want a new Python 3 notebook. So we'll click on it. And this is the Jupyter notebook that we will be working upon where we will be practicing learning everything from Python to building machine learning models. So let's begin by a simple summation. A is equals to three plus five. So if you want to execute this cell, once you run this cell, it comes down and this particular cell has been executed. So if I print A and again execute by clicking this run, it gives 8, right? So instead of clicking here, you can also use shift and enter. For example, if I do another summation, Now, if I just put shift and enter, it will come down next and create a new cell at the end of it. So this is a, another way of running the cells. So if I go to the topmost cell and inside this cell, I give run all below, then automatically all the cells will be executed. If you want to cut or delete a particular cell, you select that cell and here is a scissor, right? So you press this and uh, on clicking instantly, that particular cell will be removed. Now, if you want to name your notebook, so we'll give it experiment. All right. And, and there are a few other features of this notebooks also that we'll get to learn eventually. Like if you want to insert a cell at this place, below this place, we can do just plus and any number of cells we can add. Similarly, we can remove those cells, any number of cells. So it is highly recommended what we do here. You learn by practicing it on Jupyter Notebook on your system so that the learnings can be better. And if you want to know more about this Jupyter Notebook, and what are other features of this Jupyter Notebook. There's a link given in the description that you can visit. So see you in the next video.